Hey, hello guys. Hmm. Once again, you're here. And um, if you're following my playlist, I posted them the first video where I introduced you to the AutoCAD and the, sorry, the Orion CSC18 interface where I show you the the way, the best way you can um, set your building analysis. It is a very simple way, so I would refer you to watch the first video before watching this video. And um, if you're watching the first video, you're good to go. So, this is what you do for me. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. That red button, yes, that one. Click it before it shows subscribed. Then that notification bell is for you. Click it too, so that you get notified whenever I post tutorials like um, this for you. So let's get started into this today's tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be showing you um, the best way you can make use of your tools in Orion. Just to the pick to the axis, the colon, stuff like that. So let's click on the axis and then we'll select from one point. Make sure you are right clicking, and if you drop it, it's gonna to snap anyhow so press ctrl z to undo it click on that axis then select one point keep keep clicking on that right click then if you want it to snap straight then automatically you press ctrl then it snaps like that so want to do another one the label axis is changing from a to b here then let's say we're doing it from here then we want it to be straight then hey sorry was wrong so we're changing it from a to b so from here yeah we're doing it so if we want to change it from being from this left to our right we need to change the direction to 2 where this label automatically changes to 1. So if we're doing this, control which lets it to, to you know, give us the straight output, then release. Hey, sorry, what's that? So click it. And um, if you can just try to manage and, um, you know, use your eye to gauge it. And then if we change doing this again, man. Hey, sorry, we're doing this again. So from one point to another. Oh shit! Next is again direction two, and this one we're changing it to label two. So that is it. So like I've said, the pick tool just give you access to pick anything. So if you want to pick anything, you need to come to the pick tool before you can pick either the grid or anything like that. So let's make use of our colon. So this So if you want to escape from a command, you can press escape key on your keyboard. So the colon, um, those are the dimensions and these are the directions. So if we're doing label one for our colon, so if we want the colon to be two to five by, by two to five. So, and we want um, the colon to be either like this, like this, but we're, we're going with this, with the intersection for this tutorial. So let's click that, and then we run automatically generates the center of the colon. So we come here, where two axes meet, that is where we can put our colon. So let's put a colon here, put a colon here, we can put the colon here, then put a colon here. 
so we can come to the pick two. So Orion automatically gives your your component a label. So this is colon one, first colon one, one colon two, one colon three, then one colon four. So we're not using the wall, but the wall um, works as the beam. The way you make use of the wall, the way you make use of the beam. So if we're making um, the width of the of the beam to be two to five for this tutorial, and um, we're making use of the the height to be four fifty. So yeah, we're changing it to this. So I don't know what you use there. If you're using maybe 300 or I don't know. So you can just try to make use of the comment section below so that I can, you know, have a clue. So from one point to another, that is where we can put our beam. So from this point to this point, we put a beam from this point to this point. So click on that point. Make sure you're still right-clicking. Then it snaps to any point you want to. You want it to be it snaps there it snaps there so you just release it so from that same point come here then it snaps from that same point it's going to then it snap from that same point it so the same way you make use of this two the same way you make use of the wall so the only difference is just the bread you're using for the wall so here is the beam here is the slab so when we click the slab the height of the slab let's go for 150 and then let's go with a cover of 25 and then here we're changing the load to rooms because we are designing let's assume we're designing for um a room so we go back to the general make sure everything is correct then when we come to this to the side we want to place our beam just right click there then the beam is there so if you press escape which which allows you to 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 get out of command so the next one we're making use of now is the slap strip so when we click um, on the strap slip sorry on the slap strip yes we need to consider the y and the x axis. We're going for analytical strip, and then we need to focus here. Now this is what this is saying. This is saying from a slab to this is a, a beam to beam, and then this is a cantilever. So if we're starting um, the strip from a slab, and it's ending on a slab, so it depends on um, the position of your slab so if you're starting from a, a beam to a beam and then we are, if you're starting from a cantilever so it is, it, can, it is possible we are starting from a slab to a cantilever or you're starting from a beam to a beam so anyhow but for this we're starting from a beam and we're ending on a beam so we click we start from here and then we, we can make use of the control key and then release it Orion is saving for us. Let's wait for that. Okay. So Orion automatically calculates everything for you. So if we're changing the direction to Y. We're still working with beam to beam. Then we do it from here to here. So we make sure you click on your control then you release it so we run automatically generate um the the amount of reinforcement that is needed the length and the, the return the top and um, the reinforcement i mean the top reinforcement is here and the bottom is here um, another top is here and then we will have a bottom to run across so this is what I'm I'm showing in this tutorial in the next video I will be showing you how you can choose different stories how to edit your story and how to 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 to, 
to to design for for structures that is more than this so watch the next video where is for you and also don't forget you need to click on that subscribe button because it is necessary for you to do so that you get notified whenever i post pages for you guys so